Hey there YouTubers, so going to do a quick BIOS overview. We will not tell you about every single feature on here, but um, just give you an idea of what you have available to you on this Gigabyte H610i DDR4 motherboard. All right, so when you first fire this up, uh, let's say you don't have a drive in, it should automatically go to the BIOS uh, or, you know, F2 delete should get you here as well. You'll end up for the very first time in easy mode. There's also advanced mode. I'll, I'll show you that. But uh, as you go in here for the first time, uh, you can see a few things here. Up in the right corner, the date, the time. You've got all these stats about the computer. Now you see a CPU temperature. I have a thermal right CPU on this i9-12900KF, right? Over here to the left, you can see the motherboard, the BIOS version and then the um, CPU and RAM. This BIOS that's currently in here does not support 13th gen, uh, in case you saw that video. I bought this recently from uh, Amazon. Uh, today is April 12th. It just came in the mail, and it is not, uh, does not have the updated BIOS to support 13th gen. So I'll do a BIOS update video later on for that. Now, if you want to uh, enable your XMP, which we do, with this motherboard, you should be good with RAM up to 3200 megahertz as long as it's compatible. If we had some drives in here, you would see those here. And over here, uh, no SATA drives, no SATA hard drives or solid, SATA solid states are installed. PCIe, you see I have a GTX 1650 in here, and then M no M.2s. There's only a single M.2. There's your CPU fan speed. And that's basically all there is to easy mode. Now, I will show you how to update the BIOS uh, through this. And then let's look at smart fan mode. So you see this. And you got to hit escape to get out of that. All right, now let's go to F2. There's, yeah. So we're in advanced mode. Let's start left to right. Favorites, so using the uh, insert and the plus minus, uh, you'll be able to add or subtract these. These are uh, what chem comes with it initially. I usually don't mess with these, but you know, you obviously could take all of your favorites and uh, put them here, uh, assuming they work. All right, jumping over to tweaker. See advanced CPU settings. So I'm going to open up the menus. Not really going to talk too much about them. And you may have to pause your screen. Now in here, if you wanted to shut off Turbo Boost, you could do that. And we're just going to make sure you guys see what the selections are. All right, so not a whole lot in there, folks. Um, advanced memory settings. So we'll jump down to here, timings. And this usually takes forever to scroll through these. And hopefully, there we go. Hit escape to get out of there. SPD info. That. And no, so if you hit escape too many times all right see that information so that's all that there are for menus there settings platform power io ports i'm not going to open all these now um if you want to shut off that app center thing that pops up at the beginning that's how you do it good idea honestly when you first get these to leave it enabled Get all your drivers up to date and you'll be a happy camper. Trusted computing. I think I have screwed up somewhere, folks. Let's see something here. Nope. I guess we got everything. All right, system info. Another place to update your BIOS, all right. Boot. So if we had drives in here, we'd be able to change them. And then save and exit. So you want to make sure you save and exit to keep that XMP. And we're going to do that. And that's all there is to this video. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.